Today, I will be giving you guys the best settings after the Season 5 update, but here's the catch. There's two brand new settings that you absolutely must change. And before we get into all that, we have a lot to break down. And I don't want to waste any more of your time, so let's get into it. My name is Sweaty. Sweaty Spoon. I'm already my G's. Oh, oh, chat UAV on board. It's something I used to go for all the time, chat. I used to go for headshots all the time, and I kind of stopped. This guy just broke his legs. GG's. You guys are way better than playing with uh, fucking Maven. Yeah. Is that toxic? No. no. Lie. He, it's he, not toxic in his facts. And then he said, you must watch this. And like the clip of when he killed you. Um, what? Jesus. That's AFK. And they, were, they, were, they were trying to get in the game at the same time, and they were going to sit in a corner. They were going to wait for me to be on a heater, sit in a corner together, teaming in solos, and then kill me. No! Get off the loady, bro. That's cap. App is one of the get a little hope. Yeah, coming. Swiss, I don't know why. Love Squad member is redeployed. Look at that tracking. That's what we like to see. That's good shit right there. Oh, wake up for me. Is there one? Beam him. The reload. Is that the guy I knocked right down the floor? He's he zoomed all the way here? It is. Yeah, you do not want to push me. I'll sweat. Sit down, buddy. All you at, baby. All you at, all you Oh, this lobby is yummy. A lot of people left. There's a lot of people down here. No. 50 bomb. I could drop a 50, but I would have to. I would have to get steal so many kills. Probably wouldn't be as fun. Is he? Has to be in the house, right? He is in the house. He broke the window. Oh my God. Here's water behind me. You hear one under me too. It's one guy. I'm gonna fall. I'm gonna. I'm gonna eagle it. There's a more. He's above me. He's above me. So. Got the 40 let's go holy fuck. let's go as always don't forget to drop a like feel the view on 120 that is pretty much a must on pc 
ADS field of view affected. That's what most of the pro players do. This is kind of helps the visual recoil control. I'm sure on console, you kind of see that when you have a lower FOV or when you play on independent the gun, like so you got to be very careful with that camera movement at 50%. You want this on the lowest for the interface. Uh, I like to have my HUD closer to the middle of my screen. That way, when I'm looking at my mini map, I don't have to look wide left. I, I just do a quick little glance left, 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 left. So having this thing lowered all the way down to 25, it just allows it to be kind of zoomed in more into the middle of my screen, which is nice. I personally prefer that. I recommend that because your mini map is extremely important, but it's up to you guys at the end of the day. Mini map shape square. This allows you to see the mini map a little bit more. It basically makes it bigger, which again, it's a must. Mini map rotation enabled, show camp, show compass enabled. Now, this is one new important setting. A default to focus on the first loadout item in drop. You want this disabled. So recently, uh, they added something in the game where basically it starts at the start of the loadout every time you go to grab it. It starts at your first class and they implemented that about two months ago. Everyone hated it. And they finally added the setting where if you're in a pregame lobby or whatever your favorite loadout is, it's going to stay on that class. So you don't have to scroll all the way down to whatever class you would like to choose. So you want to have this disabled. Trust me. To give you guys some secret sauce audio settings, I'm going to be running home theater. This helps a lot with the footsteps. Trust me. Try it out. It is a little weird at first. Master volume 50, music volume zero, dialogue at 50. Again, dialogue is basically hearing your guy go, enemy streak inbound, stuff like that, which can be important. Effects volume at, at 100. This obviously helps with all the effects volume, like footsteps, gunshots, you know, all the good stuff. Uh, cinematics at zero. Uh, I do have hit markers, a classic. And now for the juicy part, I do plan on tactical flipped. And I, listen, left stick minimum dead zone. So I play on zero. And this is why as soon as I move my stick, it automatically starts moving, right? It's very sensitive. The lower you have your minimum in, the, the more sensitive it is. It starts to react right away. Now, and I also play on 0 0.6. So basically, before I even reach the, the ring, the end of my stick, this is going to start by the time I reach like halfway or a slightly past halfway, it's already going to be moving at full movement speed. So basically what this allows me to do is my my sprints, my, my movement, my guy reacts a lot quicker than the average person or than the usual if you had it at the defaults, you know, 0 0.05 and 0 0.99. So 0 0.6 can be a little weird. If you want to kind of get used to it, maybe go 0 0.7. It takes a little bit of time, but you're going to realize the difference it makes. Right stick minimum input dead zone. I have this on 0 0.05. This is basically the default. I usually recommend it there unless you have stick drift. You might have to increase it a little bit. Uh, for my right stick max input dead zone, I do it on 0 0.99. This is the default again, which feels nice. I have done some testing where I've lowered down to like 0.9 and stuff. You will notice that up close, your, your shot is going to be more consistent and it's going to be easier to control the recoils, but you will suffer at range and you will suffer if someone hits you with a really uh, nasty movement. I recommend this if you're like, you struggle with aim, you're trying to practice still, you can lower this a little bit, but slowly increase it back so you can reach your max potential. I play on 7, 7, 0 0.86, basically 180S cents. A lot of pros tend to play on 661 in the CDL and even some Warzone pros like Biffle, and they obviously have some of the best aims in the game. So 680S sense is kind of where you want to be. So that's always what I try to aim for. Some people like it a little bit lower just because they can hit some beamers. But then when you get to that mixy gunfights, it can be hard to snap on them. I really recommend, you know, kind of staying between eight, highest eight, between six to eight cents. And then obviously kind of aiming for that 180S sense, maybe a little bit lower. That should be your measurement. I have custom sensitivity per zoom off. You can mess with this if you like. I have in the past. This is a, an important setting. Aim response curve type. Please put this on dynamic. Dynamic, one, it feels like you get more aim assist. Two, it allows you to be more snappier and like just control it at a fat when you're moving your stick around. This is really good for a more high ceiling, high skilled players. But what I always recommend is obviously if you're trying to improve and you're trying to become a better player, this is a must. This will help you really reach your max potential. You just got to get used to it. You got to play a lot. Controller vibration disabled. And now we got another new setting here. The gas mask is toggle only. So they've been miss messing around with this. They've been uh, kind of making it and improving it slowly. They made the gas mask, for example, the first item in your inventory. That way, when you open your inventory and you press square, it's already on the gas mask, so you don't have to move around. This honestly can be a game changer. If you are you think you're about to get into gas or you think you're about to get into mix, you can literally put on the gas mask without being in the gas or being nowhere near the gas. It's kind of a crazy and you completely just avoid the animations. It's definitely like pretty damn good, but you got to be on top of your game with it. But it will make a big difference in situations 
weapons because you guys know the animation just gets you killed sometimes so i really recommend to try it out it's not for everybody if you're not feeling it you know you can turn it off but people have been begging for this setting for a long time now aim assist i got this on standard scale aim assist with fov disabled now listen i am proof i've used it i used them both i've used in the beginning of caldera i had this enabled for about two months and i had i've had this disabled a lot in the past i messed with both disabled basically allows you to have a bigger hitbox um basically you pull more aim assist so disabled is just a way to go in general i have noticed a difference i do feel like disabled is better I, and i play with disabled now 100 like i love it way more the one thing i will say is when you have it enabled at long ranges you definitely feel slightly better aim assist but trust me have it off weapon amount shared input ads melee enabled hold 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 contextual tap is a must in the war zone please turn this on and get used to it it is so if you guys play tap to reload tap to use trust me you are playing a different game disabled apply all another big setting that you want to make sure you have i'm sure most of you do but if you don't apply all is the wave slide to behavior tap so this makes a huge difference and this is what allows your slide cancel to be fluid back in the day people used to have it on hold so you have to hold it down while you're sprinting to slide and then instead of tap what you just click it boom instant right and then if you want to do a longer slide you hold it in but you just boom tap instead of having to hold it it's like a button versus a, a complete hold on the button so this makes a big difference it makes your movement more fluid it makes your slide cancels more fluid and it just makes things easier auto move forward disabled tactical sprint double tap and now this is another big setting this is what everybody uses in the cdl world people literally ban this because of how good this thing is automatic tactical sprint in a game where there's two different sprints it's a whole different world not only does this allow you to reach your automatic tactical sprint just by moving your stick forward immediately but this also allows you to slide cancel on another level right a lot of it's momentum based right and when you hit the automatic tactical sprint you're moving at full speed and you hit that slide cancel it's fast it's fluid it's clean if you do it at a, at a slow sprint or like a regular sprint it's a very slow slide cancel so this basically allows you to reach your full maximum movement speed immediately hit the slide cancel and you're just like zooming around the map you're gliding so this setting is extremely important you definitely want to have this on and then have this disabled and disabled because these things also help it, 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 this is kind of like training wheels turn it off get used to it